well good morning guys so we are back over again I'm back over home down not our cemetery this is the entrance in here somebody's just nearly ran into the back of me I'm in the wrong because I signalled about half a mile up the road but yeah anyway so we're here <laughs> made it here in one piece just so there we go we can see some of the graves that are about there are commonwealth graves in here and uh, there's a mass burial in here apparently during World War II I don't know if to be careful how I go about here, but yeah, I want to show you this stone because it's magnificent. Look at that big angel on it 1929. That's a uh, round about World War II era time 48. So there you go, could have been a World War II victim that, but yeah, lovely stones. And let's go for a little look around. There's some people over here and there's still a lot of graves and people come and put flowers on so I have to be very careful what I'm filming here. It's like this cemetery was uh, full a long time ago, there's a uh, new Dalnotter cemetery, I've got family in there and uh, you can see here, this is a big wide space. I think this is where the mass burials took place during World War II. It's just, you know, because there could potentially be hundreds of graves in there. The fact that it's so widespread and open it makes way and shows that yeah, this is where they buried uh, everybody after World War II. They get you know killed in the blitz of Clay Bank. God rest their souls. And yeah, this looks like it. This looks like the mass burial grave. What they did was they just dug them, dug a big pit, and anybody that didn't claim a body, unfortunately, went into it, which is quite sad. It's a lovely, peaceful place. You actually don't realise how big a cemetery is till you actually go inside it. I passed by this multiple times going metal detecting and I just didn't realise how big it was inside but it looks like a wee memorial garden just up the top up there but yeah this looks like the mass grave for World of War 2 and uh, yeah I just thought you might like to see that there was a lot of disclaimed bodies because nearly everybody in the blitzes they were, it was wiping out full family it wiped out the whole wiped out communities you know so yeah there you go, a little view of where the, the mass graves are, mass burial graves, to be honest they all should be exhumed and uh, properly buried, given the proper, you know, the proper burial, but there might be no records for them, that's a, that's a wonder if there wasn't any records for them, they said only a couple of hundred people died during the Blitz of Claybank, but they reckon it was played down and it was in the thousands. Here is another magnificent stone, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. A lot of these uh, graves are just forgotten. There's a wee robin over there, look. Let's see if we can get close to him. And he's off. But yeah, there's just a lot of magnificent graves. Such a big cemetery. Look at that big tree. Gigantic dead peaceful in here as well. Anybody ever stays in this area you should come and have a look at some of the graves and that in here. It's absolutely magnificent. Check this out, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. That's magnificent. Where we go, here's a soldier's grave. <coughs> Argyle and Sutherland. And that's a Sergeant C. Campbell 2nd and Barton BN Home Guard. 14th of March 41, age 38. He must have been killed during World War II. We will never forget you. Here's another soldier's grave, Argyle and Sutherland again. Volunteer SDMS, Second Dumbarton, BN, Home Guard, 13th of March 1941. Must have been another one killed during World War II. Check this out the Royal Corps of Signals. 1464369 Corporal G Park, the Royal Signals, 24th of December 46. I think that was maybe maybe just after World War II or the last year of World War II. But yep, yeah, there we go, another soldier's grave. Here we go, N. McCafferty, pilot of the Royal Air Force, 21st of June 1941. Always in a beautiful memory of the ones we love so dear. There you go, Royal Air Force. Pilot. 
There we go, Royal Scots Guard 2697459, Guardsman A Hamilton, Scots Guard, 21st of July 1944, age 27. Remembrance, he died, that we might live. Lovely. Well, here we are, we've got the Royal Army Service Corps, we've got a Jai Patterson S-2980587 Private uh, from the Royal Army Service Corps, 21st of July 1944, he's just 34. No loved ones around him to say a last farewell, his wife and family. Oh, that's sad. There you go. You know, that's one thing I didn't give a thought to today that we come across soldiers' graves because I just didn't actually think that they'd be buried in here. But there you go, we found quite a lot of soldiers' graves and they fought for this country to make it what it is. And you know, I salute you. I think I can see some more, so I'm going to have a walk down just to the front here because I think I may see another soldiers' grave. Well, here we are, guys, this is another. Soldier's grave I found, Royal Air Force it is. 4235522, Senior Aircraft Man A. McAllister, Royal Air Force, 17th of April 1959, aged 18. The family chain is broken now, but our memories live on forever, always hand remembered. Lovely, beautiful. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the tours. <coughs> This is a beautiful cemetery, I've had to fill them by phone because my camera's cut out But yeah, that's one thing I didn't think today that I would find soldiers graves in here I thought it was just a mass burial but there you go I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour as much as I have because it's been interesting This is a place that I will come back and have a further look again and see if I can find any more war graves Absolutely stunning cemetery, beautiful, peaceful It's great just to listen to the traffic going by and the birds singing and just having a look around, it's something peaceful and tranquil about it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Good luck, happy hunting, and catch me on another tour of another cemetery or metal detecting adventure soon. Bye for now.